It's Ash from Super Videos back with another video for Better Call Saul. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting theory which has to do with the possibility of Kim Wexler having helped Skylar White after the events of Breaking Bad. Now, this theory is not one that many fans have been talking about, but I think it is a very interesting topic and there's some clues and subtle hints about it already, which makes it more of a possibility. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break it all down. Alright, as always, before we jump into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. Now, let's step back a little bit and take a look at the scene that I feel is a big clue about how Kim Wexler could tie in with the story going forward. If we take a look at the events of Season 6, Episode 11, in the Gene timeline, Gene calls Francesca and tries to get intel from her to see what has happened in the time that he's been on the down low living his life as Gene Takovic. They start talking a little bit about Jesse Pinkman and Skylar White. Francesca tells Saul that Skylar White got the deal that she was looking for with the feds and the only people remaining to investigate are Jesse Pinkman and Saul Goodman himself. Now Francesca did say that Jesse Pinkman's car was found by the Mexico border. Now obviously if we look at the events of El Camino we know that that was all a setup and we know that Jesse Pinkman is not on his way to Mexico. We know that Badger helped them to set that whole thing up so that they mislead the police. When it comes to the other piece of it, which has to do with Skylar White, I thought that was extremely interesting. I mean, the one thing that really popped out at me was, why bring this up? Was it just filler? I don't think it was filler. And I think that there could have been potentially clues about what happened after Walt's death. Before we even get to that, the big thing that came out of Francesca's conversation with Saul was really to tie up loose ends after the events of Felina from Breaking Bad. One of those loose ends obviously being Jesse Pinkman and what happened to him and the other one being what happened to Skylar White. The Skylar White thing, I don't think that it was quite as insignificant and filler as we might think. I mean, yes, we knew that Skylar White was looking for a deal with the feds it was actually Walter White himself that pretty much gave Skyler a free get out of jail card. It was really Walter's idea to get Skyler to make a deal with the feds. But with that said, given everything that the feds already knew about Skyler's involvement, it wouldn't be an easy task to force the feds to make a deal with Skyler. So she needed someone who knows what they're doing to represent her. And here is where the Kim Wexler thing comes into play. Going back to what Francesca was talking about, I think there was a reason why the writers had Francesca talk about both Kim Wexler and Skylar White at the same time in the same conversation. It was an indirect way to make the audience have these two characters in mind going into the next two episodes. Now, one thing I do want to mention is obviously their big question everyone's going to ask is, well, Kim Wexler can't represent Skylar White because Kim Wexler is no longer an attorney. She quit being an attorney. So how is that going to work? Well, one thing that I did find out when researching a bit into this is in a teaser for the second half of the final season, season six, we actually hear Kim Wexler reading an oath to become an attorney. Now, we never saw her saying those words or making that oath. So it's possible that that is from a scene that we haven't seen yet. So what we might end up seeing is in the time when Kim Wexler was gone, 
something happened to her that made her change her mind. Something happened that made her get back into it. Something that made her break bad. Pun intended. This actually goes very well with one of my previous theories about this as well regarding Kim Wexler breaking bad. If you're interested in a different perspective into the same theory, definitely go check that video out. But it's possible that Kim Wexler changed her mind and decided to get back into being an attorney. Hence why she had to read the oath again to become an attorney. And what if after she becomes an attorney again, she is approached by Walter White in the short time period before he made that call to Skyler. What if Walter White asked Kim Wexler to represent his wife? Now, you might ask, how does he even know Kim Wexler? Walter White knows Saul Goodman. And I'm sure for as smart as a person as Walter White is, he would have done his research. And when he did his research, Kim's name would definitely have come up. So that makes things interesting. Now, one other thing I do want to mention is Brian Cranston, who of course plays Walter White, did reveal that there would be three scenes in total with Walter White, Jesse Pinkman, and the two of them together. He said one is going to be the two of them together, which is the scene that we already saw in 6-11, one is going to be a scene with just Walter White and another is going to be one with just Jesse Pinkman. So what if the scene with Walter White by himself is a scene where he approaches Kim Wexler to represent his wife? If they end up doing this, then it's obviously a big thing and something that puts Kim right in the middle of the story and... It makes her appearance or her return more significant because it's tying loose ends not just with Better Call Saul but also with Breaking Bad. It was always hinted at that Kim's return will further connect Walt and Saul's story together. So it is definitely a possibility that this is exactly how they're going to utilize Kim Wexler in the next two episodes. It might actually be Mike that tells Walt about Kim Wexler. Something along those lines. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to say. I'm definitely intrigued to know your thoughts and opinions about this. It might be a stretch of a theory, but there's definitely some things that are definitely lining up if we really think about what we know at this point about the timeline and how everything could come together. So share your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.